Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rocket League. So I'm just going to do a quick overview of the game and just give a few of my opinions and sort of talk through the options menu and a few other bits. So we'll hop into it. So first thing you see is advert. Fair enough, it's their game. Uh, you've got your level and your player stuff down the bottom, create a party. Uh, let's have a look at the options menu to start with. Right, so under camera control you've got the invert, camera shake, field of vision, camera height and angles, quite a cool one that you don't see on many games. I'm really happy that's a function in here though. I haven't changed it. Camera distance, camera stiffness. Don't know what that is, but it sounds fun. And then that shows you where the ball is. And that... Probably like a... Switches from toggle to a lock. Okay. The controls are fully rebindable both across keyboard and mouse and the gamepad that's also a really really nice function that I haven't seen on a lot of a lot of games recently well I don't think I've ever seen it on a game that I own anyway um, video settings got a whole list of resolutions loads of different resolutions different uh, things as well uh, you got full screen window, borderless window, borderless full screen, borderless windowed. You've got v sync, obviously on or off, and apply button. Don't know why that's there. Surely it should be down the bottom, uh, next to the default button. You've got anti aliasing, FXAA, and L L L MLAA. I have it off currently. Uh, I don't know why. You've got four render quality options. Um, which is actually kind of weird. It's not high, medium, low. It's performance and quality. Uh, render detail, exactly the same thing. I don't know why it's not high, medium, low. Uh, safe zone slider is just how big the UI is in the window. Texture detail, you've got high performance or high performance. I would prefer them to be high, medium or low once again. And I'd prefer like these to all be, well, like the quality ones of light shaft, so it'd be high, medium, low again. Uh, motion blur off, obviously. So I'd prefer all those to be drop-down box options rather than just tick boxes. What do you, you've got a nice one for everything really that you need. Uh, push to talk for in-game, I've got that disabled. And miscellaneous. Mouse sensitivity. I would have put that under controls personally. Uh, it's a bit of a weird choice for it to be there. That's a nice little option, horizontal split screen. Controller vibration, ball arrow, assuming metric measurements. And that is, I don't know what that is. So that's the options menu. The game, obviously you get XP for ranking up as you play games and win them. So I'm just gonna hop into a training game and just show you some of the things. So to play it's W, A, S and D to drive, shift for uh, handbrake, and do some nice drifts. Okay, and left click is a boost, and right click is your thing. When you score, you get knocked back, did you get a replay? I don't know what else there is really. I mean, it's it's fairly simple. It's enjoyable. Uh, you can drive up the walls like this, and then you fall off the ceilings. I've I found it pretty fun. I played it last night to try it out. I'm enjoying it. If you press space, you go from this sort of view, just following the car to following the ball. And I missed. But you get the idea, it's just a basic car football game, really. Let's get that, these. Okay, so that gives you 100% boost. And these little ones here give you like 12 or 14%. It's a really nice game. It's currently running at 60, 65 FPS. I can't get it to run any higher than that at the moment, for some odd unknown reason. 
and I scored again. So, yeah, this has been Rocket League. Thank you very much for watching.